Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Live to Excel. In today's episode, we'll take a look at one of the most versatile keys on the keyboard, the control key. For this episode, I've compiled a number of my favorite control key keyboard shortcuts in Excel. The keyboard shortcuts that I'll be covering in this episode can be seen on the screen. So let's get started. The first keyboard shortcut that everyone should know is Control plus C. This copies the data. So let's copy the name column into the names column. In order to paste the data, we need to use Control V. Control C and Control V are very closely related and are used most often together. Next, let's look at Control X. Control X cuts the data to the clipboard. And then just like with copy, you can then paste the data using Control V. But notice the data is no longer in the original age category. Control F is the next keyboard shortcut I'd like to use. Control F allows you to find any given text or number. So let's find all of the GA states. If we press Find All, a list appears with all of the references. In order to highlight all of these references, simply press Control A. And each one of the cells that contains GA in the text is now selected. Control H is the next keyboard shortcut that I'd like to look at. And this is Find and Replace. So let's replace all of the states that have GA with AL. Press Replace All. And as you notice, it replaced all of them in not only in the state column, but also in the actions. That's because every instance of GA was replaced with AL. Another keyboard shortcut that proves invaluable is Control Z. Control Z is the same as undo, as seen here. By pressing Control Z, we can go back through all of the actions that we just took to the very beginning. Unfortunately, Excel only saves a certain number of steps, so be careful. The next keyboard shortcut that I'd like to look at is Control B, or Bold. Pressing Control B bolds the font. This can also be found on the Home tab. Control I italicizes, and Control U underlines. These three shortcuts also work, along with the previous shortcuts in nearly every other program you'll use. Another great time saver is control, click, drag and drop. This is a great way to copy and paste objects as well as worksheets in Excel. So by holding the control key, clicking the left mouse key, dragging and dropping while holding the control key still down, you see that we copied and pasted that object. And you can do this as many times as desired. The same holds true for worksheets. Click drag, drop while holding the control key, and a copy of the worksheet is created. In this worksheet, we need to highlight all of this data by pressing Control A. Control A highlights the current region or the table the active cell is connected to. Unfortunately, it moves the window to the bottom of the range. So in order to get the window back to the top while still maintaining the same selection and active cell, Control Backspace is your shortcut. Now. Say, for instance, you wanted to move the active cell to H1, and then you wanted to go to the last cell in column H. In order to move to the four corners of this selection, we need to use Control Period. Control Period cycles through each one of the four corners of the selection. Another instance where Control Backspace might prove useful is in formula writing. So let's sum all of the incomes. So I've written equal sum, and then I've referenced my range, but I can't see my formula any longer. So have no fear, control backspace, and we're back to the original window so we can see our formula and do whatever we'd like. Perfect. The next keyboard shortcut is control N. Control N creates a new workbook in the same instance or application of Excel. To get back to the previous workbook, which we were just working in, we need to use Control Tab. Control Tab toggles or cycles through all of the open workbooks 
in the current instance of Excel. So let's go back to the new workbook we just created and use Control W to close this workbook. Since no changes were made in that workbook, it closed automatically. So let's create a new one and make some change. If we press Control W, Excel will ask us whether or not we'd like to save this new workbook. And we don't. The next keyboard shortcut is Control and the mouse wheel. So hold the Control key down and scroll the mouse wheel. As you see here, the current zoom level is 10%. But if we increase that, we can now read this. Increase it a little more, and that's as large as it gets. A great time saver when you're in a worksheet and you need to be able to read your data, and you don't feel like scrolling down here and clicking this button a thousand times to get the screen zoom level that you desire. Another fantastic keyboard shortcut is Control Shift L. Control Shift L toggles the data filter function in Excel. So we can now filter Florida out of this data table. And by pressing Control Shift L, we then remove that data filter. Control minus might be one of my absolute favorites. Control minus is just so versatile. Control and the hyphen or minus key allows you to delete the active cells or the selected cells as or the entire range or column if you'd like. But that's not all control minus does. Control minus also filters out pivot table information that you would not like to see. So for instance, if we did not want to see Florida in this table of data, press the control minus or hyphen key and it's automatically filtered out. Say we didn't want to see 1982, control hyphen, and it's been filtered out. Very helpful for very quick analysis. Another fantastic keyboard shortcut is control one. Control one, when on an object, opens up the format controls. So here it opened the pane. We can see the fill, the line, or any of the other formatting possibilities for that shape. The same holds true for an, a cell. Control one opens the formatting dialog box and we're able to change the border, font, fill, etc. And my final keyboard shortcut for today is Control S. Control S for save yourself some heartache. Control S saves the active workbook and it's best if you do this often because eventually Excel does sometimes break down and then you're left crying with your head in your hands. And let's face it, having your head in your hands is not living to excel. Thanks everyone for watching, and until the next time, keep living to excel.